Hello, welcome to Super Billing. In this video, we are going to see how to create and manage batch code and expiry date for your products. To create batch code and expiry date for your products, you have to configure the product settings first. On the left menu, click on settings and click on product. Here, the add product screen settings will be displayed. Click the checkbox near to enable batch code management and you will get a information enabling this option will require a batch code for the product to generate an invoice. Click on OK. You can enable batch code on all products or you can apply to specific products. If you need to enable on all products, leave it as all products or if you need to enable on specific products, click on on specific products and you will get a window to choose whether you are enabling barcode for the product or disabling it. Now here below on selection, you will see the enable batch code management is checked. I need batch code only for pen drive 64 GB. So. I will select all and uncheck enable batch code and click on update. And now the batch code is not enabled for any product. Now I am going to select the pen drive. I am going to click this checkbox near pen drive and on selection I am going to click on enable batch code management and click on update. Now. The batch code is enabled only for pen drive 64 GB. Under batch code, it is displayed as yes, and for other products, it is displayed as no. Now we have finished these settings. Let's close this window. If you need to enable expiry date management, you need to check this checkbox near to enable expiry date management. And here, you will get a new option enable expiry date on you can choose all products or on specific products now click on choose and now the expiry date settings is displayed and i am going to select pen drive and on selection i am going to enable expiry date and click on update and now the expiry date is enabled only for pen drive. If you need only the batch code, you can close this and uncheck this enable expiry date management. Now for this demo, we are going to keep the expiry date management enabled and we are keeping only for pen drive 64 GB. Let's close this. Click on save. And now the product settings has been updated. Let's close the settings window. And now on the left menu, go to products and select pen drive 64 GB. And it below you have number of options. Here you will have an option called expiry date and batch code. Click on that. And for pen drive 64 GB, the expiry date and batch code management window will be displayed. Here, you can type in the batch code number. I am giving it as yes 001 and as we have enabled the expiry date management, you will get the option of choosing the manufacturing date and the expiry date. You can also calculate the expiry date automatically with shelf life of the product which we have given while adding the product. And the quantity for this batch. The quantity cannot exceed the total stock. Here the total stock is 10. So the quantity should be 10 or below 10. So for this batch I am giving it as 5. And you can choose the sale price for this batch. This is the normal price, normal sales price of this product. Now for this batch, 
to differentiate it i am going to give it as 2600 and purchase price if it is different for this batch you can update i am going to leave it as it is and for expiry date i am going to select an expiry date of 30 and click on add and the batch code is saved with the details that we have given and here you can see the shelf life is zero because on add product screen we have not provided the shelf life let's see how to add shelf life to this product now close this window and select pen drive and click on view or edit scroll down you don't have any option for shelf life why is it because we have to enable that option so now click on close and go to settings again click on product and here you can see an option on add product screen which says display product shelf life on add product screen click that check box and click on save now let's close this and go to products again select the product click on view edit and now if you scroll down you will get shelf life it days so now i'm going to give it as 10 and click on update now select the product and click on expiry date and batch code and now you can see the updated shelf life is 10 now i am going to add an other batch yes 002 manufacturing date is uh, let's say we can give it as uh, 12 and i am going to click this check box calculate expiry date automatically with shelf life and the quantity for this batch will be 3 and the sale price i will give it as 2700 to differentiate it i will leave the purchase price as it is and click on add and now other batch has been added and you can see the expiry date for that so now let's try adding these products in our invoice let's close this and go to sales new sale select a customer and select the product and for product you can view batches for the product if you don't know the batch code or forgot the batch code or you can enter the batch code or scan the batch code here so i am going to enter my batch code yes 001 and click on enter and you can see here the batch stock is displayed which is 5 we have given for s001 batch and the price is 2600 and i'm going to give quantity 1 and the closing stock is 4 and click on enter and now under batch code you can see s001 is assigned now i'm going to add the same product with different batch code so yes 002 and click on enter now the batch stock is 3 and the price is 2700 i'm going to give quantity 1 and click on enter and now the second batch that is s002 is assigned to the second product if you click on save this invoice will not be saved why because the product for the batch s002 is expired you can see the invoice date is 26 but the product has expired on 22 itself so let's click on save invoice and check what happens click on save invoice and you are getting an error message product pen drive 64 gb has expired in the selected batch s002 click on okay to check it you can use view batch button and the batch for the particular or selected product will be displayed and you can see for s002 
the expiry date is 22 and now the invoice date is 26 so it is not saved so let's close this and let's select this product and remove the row and now let's add a pen drive without a batch from the product selection and now the overall stock is displayed and the normal price is displayed i am giving quantity 1 and it is added with no batch now let's click on save and see what happens now the invoice has been saved you can share this invoice or print it or save it as pdf and now you will have an other question how to display the batch code or the expiry date near the product on the invoice let's see how to do that close this print preview window close the new sale window and scroll down click on settings here on general you will see invoice print settings there you will have a number of options here you have to check print expiry date on invoice if you need to print the expiry date or print batch code on invoice to print the batch code and let's save this and now if you click on sale and sale invoices this is the recent invoice that we have saved and i am going to click print preview and now you can see for this product the batch code and the expiry date is displayed if you have any questions please feel free to contact us we are ready to help you thank you for watching